Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all and welcome back to my channel. First things first, I'd like to thank Baratza for sending me a unit of the all new Encore ESP grinder. I'd also like to make it crystal clear that I'm not under any agreement to share anything at all. The grinder was a gift from Baratza and any content I create in relation to the grinder is completely up to my discretion and my own opinion. At the time I'm recording this, I've only used the Encore ESP for a little over a week. So I just wanted to quickly share my initial thoughts and then I'll let you watch the unboxing in my first time using the grinder. The Encore ESP is advertised as being refined for espresso and coarser grind sizes, like for pour overs and French press. It can do all of it. What I'm most excited about though, is the advertised low retention. Many of you know I struggle with retention in my Breville Barista Pro's built-in grinder, and I have to bang on the hopper to get all the grinds out. I'm so happy to report that is not the case with the Encore ESP. The very first time you use it, there will be some retention because the burrs aren't seasoned and it's, you know, brand new. But after just one or two uses, I'm experiencing no retention. I don't wake everyone up now from banging on the hopper, but like most Baratza grinders, the Encore ESP is loud. It's louder than my built-in grinder, and I'll cover that and all my comparisons when I do a full review. One last point I want to mention is that I can indeed taste a difference in the espresso made from the Encore ESP. A positive, delicious difference. I will be coming out with a more detailed review soon in which I'll compare the Baratza Encore ESP to the Breville Barista Pro's built-in grinder. But if you want a more detailed look into my journey thus far with the Encore ESP, join my Patreon. I'll be sharing an exclusive video of my initial thoughts and comparisons there. As always, relevant links and discounts will be in the description. For now, I hope you enjoy this unboxing of the Baratza Encore ESP and my first time using it.
this is my first time using the Barazza Encore ESP. So the first time I'll be using it, I'm going to use Barazza's provided dosing cup. Um, I just want to use it as it's intended and then I'm going to start experimenting um, seeing if I even need to use the WDT, if I even need a dosing cup, maybe I can just grind directly into my portafilter. I'll figure all of that out later. Going to preheat my cup. I'm disoriented because I, I'm so used to using the built-in grinder. Um, so I'll weigh out my coffee. I've already taken the adapter ring off because I have a 54 millimeter portafilter. So I'm using these Kova beans. They were roasted three weeks ago. Thus far, I've been grinding roughly 19 grams of this inner burr set to three. Grind size of six on my built-in Breville Barista Pro grinder. I've got 19.03 grams, so basically 19 grams of beans measured out. And I have the Barazza Encore ESP set to 10, 12, 14, 16. Each little point or dot here um, indicates two points. Though there is a noticeable clicking sound when you kind of click between, I think um, that this grinder is, as far as I know, this is stepless. So you can adjust the dial to be in between points as well. Here we go. Okay. So dosing cup in there and turn it on. Okay, I'm not going to um, bang on this like I do on the built-in. I'm just going to measure how much came out. Okay, we're at 16.95. And some of that is on the lip of the cup, so I don't know that that counts. Let's try again. So we've got some retention here, you guys. <laughs> I'm at 16.97. Um, granted, this is the first time I'm using this machine. So I'm, a, I'm not really surprised. I mean, this guy, honestly, if I were to weigh what I vacuum out of the built-in grinder, um, like whatever's stuck in there currently, if I vacuumed it all out and somehow weighed it, I feel like it'd be like five grams, maybe, probably more. There's there's like whole beans in there. I know it. Um, so straight out of the box, roughly two grams of retention with this guy. Let me put just a little bit more. And let's add that to this. I'm still at 17.64. Okay, now we're at 18.15. I don't know how much I've put in so far, but more than what's coming out, that's for sure. Okay, now we've got 19.2. I am going to take some of that out because I only want 19. Okay, so 19.05, that's pretty much what I started with. Beans were lost. Go for it, I guess. 
First time using this guy. This guy. Not this guy. Are they even guys? No. They are things. Alright, so in goes the dosing cup. Flippity flip. So cool that this is like uh, transparent. Because I can see. I mean, duh, but. So because the dosing cup transfer left a very obvious, what do you call this? Like lip indent. Um, I'm gonna WDT. I do see some clumps. You, I'm sure you saw them too. Um, these grinds look kind of fluffy to start with. I know that much. Okay. Going in with my tamper. Okay, nice. All right, so let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna zoom you in first. My usual seven seconds pre-infusion. Looks so good, but it does look slow. Yeah, that's quite slow. Granted, that might be my WDT, but... Alright, we're at 49 seconds, including pre-infusion. 26 grams now. Extremely long shot, so... Maybe coarser next time. Well, let's see how the puck looks. So I got 34 grams in like 54 seconds. Let me quickly make myself a latte.